project coordinator. And I'm Helen, I'm the project manager for Community Well. It's a community-led initiative aiming to improve the health and well-being of the residents of Chelmsley Wood. And we hope you enjoy our video of Year 3. Amity Club is our monthly older persons club, um, providing a meal and entertainment for local people. Um, so this one um, came from our gentle fitness group, uh, which we ran in year one and year two, um, but because of numbers it kind of slowly dwindled out. Um, after talking to uh, the group, they really wanted us to carry on with something. Um, so talking to them, we sort of came to this kind of group where we do games and they have food. Uh, yeah, it's it's really popular with um, older people in in the community, and we've actually had quite a lot of new people to the community centre because of this group. It's it's just been really popular. Probably the food, which is what they really wanted, <laughs> um, and. We've been able to signpost some of the group members to other services within the community centre, which has been really good. It just, it, it's especially during the winter and because of the um, rising cost of living crisis, it's been providing somewhere warm and welcoming for them to do something. So um, it's it's been a really good group. I'm gonna. Um, we're going to show you a video now of a couple of the members just to uh, so you can see how good the group is. Hello ladies. Hello Helen. Hello Helen. <laughs> right, we're going to talk about Amity Club. Would you like, me, like to tell me a, a little bit about it? What you do, that kind of thing? Um, well, it's a meeting of friends, meeting up with friends. Yes. Yeah. Having a nice meal, do activities. What kind of activities have you been doing? Um, game shows, uh, bingo, bingo, Britain's Best Biscuit. Um, and what was Britain's Best Biscuit? Cadbury's <laughs> Chocolate Fingers, <laughs> one in the end. Um, the price is right. Price is right. Play your cards right. That's and it. what was the one with the, the drawing, with the sketches? Pictionary, that oh, was. Oh, Pictionary, yeah. that was it, yeah. Pictionary. So, do you enjoy raffles. coming? Yes, yes we love do, it. Yes. Yeah. Um, what do you love about it? Meeting up with people, having a good laugh, having something to eat. Yes, yes, it's really yeah. nice. Meeting up with getting, getting out of the house. Yeah. Just socialising. Friendship. Yeah. 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 That's lovely, yeah. thank you. And Helen and uh, Debbie and Olivia, they're really friendly and um, they give us a good time. Yep. True. True. Yep. Yes. Saplins is our parents and toddlers group um, that we have been able to run for another year um, from last year's underspend. Uh, it's a really good group that parents and carers, grandparents and children all come together um, once a week. One of our biggest challenges um, all through community well over the years has been trying to train up a few parents to take on the running of this group. It's difficult to gain long-term parent volunteers, especially when children are moving on to nursery. The parents move on with them, obviously. Uh, but we're really happy to be handing over saplings to another local community organisation which will make this group more sustainable. So the garden project was originally meant to be um, for families but after having engagement initially um, none of the families actually turned up. So we had um, interest from a local mental health hospital 
and we've had a few sessions now with that group which is going quite successfully. We also have uh, or had a gardening group here for adults with learning disabilities um, which has recently closed so we are able to take that group on um, and also take them into year four so we'll be running that group alongside um, the first group on alternate days um, to make sure that they water the vegetables and keep it all fresh. The Circle Men's Group are still meeting weekly. Uh, they've been doing this since the beginning of Community Well. They continue to enjoy activities each week, such as discussion nights, meals out, uh, walks down to the pub, barbecues. Uh, they have done a retreat uh, earlier in year three as well, which uh, they all love. It's grown really well in numbers, this group, over this last year and people are being referred by a local mental health unit and local GPs, uh, which is really showing how much it's needed. Um, it has a massive impact on the men that are involved. You're going to see a video in a minute of one of the group members. But one of our highlights of the year has been how the Circle has now uh, got its own committee and has become a constituted group with their own bank account. So. They won't be part of Community Well anymore, they're up and running on their own. Would you like to tell me a bit about Circle, the men's group? Men's group, it's a gathering of men uh, from the local area. Um, each of the guys have their own issues. Uh, we come together for friendship. Um, to develop like a common bond and over the last few years it's growing stronger, membership is going up slowly. Um, I'd say the group is very diverse, uh, people of various backgrounds. What, what kind of things do you do? Uh, we chat, uh, Definitely have a laugh. Um, we talk about how our week's gone. Um, if there are like issues and people want to talk about, we can do that. Uh, we also do like a yearly getaway, uh, which has been fantastic. And it's one thing I certainly love doing each year. It's great because it just gives the guys a chance to meet, mix, um, and associate in a different setting. Um, it's, a, it's, it's an activity where we could just be ourselves or we could just be part of the group. We could just do as we wish, uh, communicate how we want. What, what have you got out of it, John? Well, when I first started the group, um, I had a history where I was actually frightened about being in the company of men due to past circumstances with like father figures. Um, when I started the group, I was more quiet than anything else. I would just sit and listen. But as time's gone on, my confidence has more developed. Uh, I'm more at ease with myself. I can communicate with guys now. I feel I'm more at ease in their presence and um, I think it, it, it's definitely given me the outlook to do things more for myself. I'm um, more independent travelling all out the country now um, and I do more things from outside. I, I know that um, it's led you to do some volunteering, do, do you want to talk a little bit about that? I, I, I volunteer for the Dropping Popping Group. Um, I've been tending the group now for about 
four years. Uh, again, like in the men's group, I was like quiet at the start. And I think it's only like now that I'm sort of coming out of that shell and becoming my own personality, becoming my own person. Um, and I felt I could do a lot more than probably what I was actually receiving. And this is why I asked to volunteer with the group because I feel that being like a group member, perhaps there's more that I could put in because I felt that I could understand the members better. And because there's already that bond between us, maybe there, there could be like more at ease if people just wanted to chat. But well, from a personal point of view, I think it's definitely give me a lot of zest for life. I did my Compassionate Mind Training Certificate in Year 2. CMT is about giving people techniques and skills to show compassion to others, but mostly to ourselves. And in, during Year 3, I completed all my supervision sessions for CMT. So we're planning to run a Compassionate Training course to be delivered here at Three Trees to members of the general public during year four and leading into that we've been working with Black Train Music to provide a mindfulness and music pilot um, which is proving extremely popular and bringing quite a few new faces to the centre. So the attendees and the pilot are signing up to take part in the eight week CMT course that will be running soon. We've done a mixture of classroom learning um, as well as going out and visiting attractions in Birmingham. Uh, so this group started off quite popular, I think a lot of them were intrigued um, and then sort of midway through the, the sessions um, our numbers dwindled and after talking with um, on trade it was a case of uh, mental health for a lot of them. Um, coming to, into the end of the group, to the end of the year, uh, the numbers had picked up again and in fact we had um, a few more that were interested and uh, wanted to sort of see through year four as well. So we're quite excited to get back open and running into year four um, and to see some new faces. Coming up next is one of the asylum seekers talking about his experience in a video. Um, really, I'm thankful for what you have done for us, especially for me. And I got more experience through you because, to be honest, what you did for us is a big thing for me and for the group. And then, really, you, the experience you give you gave to us, we will never forget it, and it will be for our life. Because the certificate today, maybe we will see it a little thing. Well, for me, it's a big thing. I know the value of the certificate. Yeah. This year, I supported Chelman's Day, um, which is a annual event that we put on for the community. Um, to bring the community together um, and to celebrate. There's entertainment, there's food, um, drinks, bouncy castle for the kids. Um, but the main thing really is the um, engagement with the community. 
It brings a whole load of community groups together as well, which is really good. And you're now going to see in the next video a community ukulele band. We hope you enjoyed our video of Year 3. We're really proud of all the work we've done and we're proud of the people we've worked with. So thank you very much to Reaching Communities for your support to help us to support our community. Yeah.